crock pot Italian beef is juicy, succulent, and fall apart tender. Top with provolone and pickled vegetables for the best sandwich of your life. Hey, it's Kristen from Iowa Girl Eats where we make easy gluten-free recipes using everyday ingredients. Now today we're gonna make my five ingredient crock pot Italian beef sandwiches. Now look, we like to make these anytime my extended family gets together because this recipe feeds an army and it is a total crowd pleaser. Cannot wait to show you how easy these are to make. To start, we've got a three pound chuck roast. Now Italian beef sandwiches are typically made with chuck roast, which is great for us because it slow cooks like a dream. It goes low and slow all day, and then the chuck roast will just shred very easily, fall apart with two forks. So I've got my three pound chuck roast, and I like to just trim off any big pieces of fat. This looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is just cut the roast into big pieces, and this will ensure that it slow cooks nice and even, and become done all at the same time. So for a roast this size, I'll probably cut it into about six equal size pieces. I'm going to add the chuck roast pieces into the bottom of a six quart crock pot. Next, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Remember, there's only five, so we have four left. Now we have a packet of Italian salad dressing seasoning mix that I'll sprinkle right over the top. This is such an easy way to add tons of flavor to this recipe. Next, we'll add about a cup of pepperoncini pepper slices. Now these are medium to mild in heat and truly do not make the end dish spicy, so feel free to add a lot. They add tons of flavor. And then we're gonna add a splash of the juice also. Next, we're going to add Chicago-style jardinera. Now, this is what makes these Italian beef sandwiches Italian beef sandwiches versus just beef sandwiches. These are pickled vegetables packed in oil, and they are so good. I could eat this entire jar myself, all by itself, but I'm not going to because I'm going to add it into our roast instead. So we'll just add, again, about a cup of the jardinera. And since this is packed in oil, I like to kind of either drain it first or just kind of squeeze it against the side of the jar just to make sure our dish doesn't end up too oily. For our final ingredient, we're going to add a little bit of beef broth. The last thing I like to do before we start cooking is just use some tongs and lift up all the pieces of meat to make sure there's juices underneath them and all the ingredients are well distributed. And that's it, just five ingredients and it looks and smells so delicious already. Next, we'll cover the crock pot and cook it on low for eight to nine hours or until the meat shreds easily with two forks and it should just fall apart. Our chuck roast has been slow cooking for nine hours and it is literally fall apart tender. So I'm just going to pull the pieces out of the crock pot and then we will shred with two forks. You can see the meat is just falling apart and shredding super easily with two forks. And you know, this is a great recipe to make on a long work day. You can set it in the morning before you leave. It slow cooks all day. You can just truly set it and forget it. You walk in the door at night and the house smells incredible and dinner is practically made for you. All that's left is to assemble the sandwiches when it's all said and done. Our meat is all shredded, so I'm gonna slide it back into the crock pot and cook on low for one more hour just so the meat can kind of simmer in all that flavorful juice and liquid. It's time to build our sandwiches. So I'm just gonna use tongs and get this luscious beef right onto some toasted sandwich rolls. And these are gluten-free rolls because that's how we eat here. But if you don't need to eat gluten-free, you could use an Italian or a French roll, which are more traditional for Italian beef sandwiches. So we'll just pile that right on top. Looks so good. Now this is slightly controversial in the Italian beef sandwich world, and that's to whether or not you add cheese. Well, we like to add cheese, so I'm going to add a couple slices of thin cut provolone cheese right on top, and then we're gonna slide these back into the oven and let the cheese melt and get nice and gooey. Our last step is to spoon some more of that crunchy jardinera on top. You know, these sandwiches are they're luscious, they're beefy, and so this topping kind of adds a little bit of lightness and brightness and crunch and freshness. My mouth is watering, so I'm going to dive in and take a bite. It is incredible how just five ingredients produces a sandwich this flavorful. Try it for dinner tonight, and I promise you it'll become a new family favorite.